I would think people in the Muslim community should want this type of surveillance. Listen, when they were going after the mafia, Brianna, they sent the, uh, the, the FBI and the policemen to the Italian-American neighborhoods, the social clubs. When they were going after the Westies, that was an, uh, that was an Irish American gang on the west side of Manhattan. They were in every Irish bar and gin mill. They were hanging around the Irish club. This was all the FBI, uh, NYPD. That's how it was done. If you're looking for the Klan, you don't go to Harlem. You go where the threat is coming from. And in this case, if you're talking about Islamist terrorism, it's going to come from the Muslim community. Now, 98, 99 percent of the Muslims are, I'm sure, good patriotic Americans, but the threat is coming from their community. And I would think they would want to have this. They would want to have the assistance of the police and the FBI. Unfortunately, in many cases, the mosques, for instance, have not told the police when there's been radical activities in those mosques. Anyway, I think we should uh, uh, use the surveillance to the extent it's important and also uh, we should uh, you know, be monitoring other, other locations. I guess what you're saying is, you know, does this inspire attacks? I, I think uh, you know, then you're playing defense. If you're in that situation where you're afraid to go after the enemy because they, you know, that might inspire them to carry out attacks, you know, then we'd be basically doing nothing. So, no, I'm, I'm not concerned about that anymore. To me, there's more of a concern if we do nothing or, or if we don't do the surveillance. I would rather you know, be, be on offense, do the surveillance, and that could lead you to other attacks.